Bahalo, get him down. We think you have Rhodococcus equi, a horse infection. It's pretty rare in humans, but easily treatable with antibiotics. Uh, does it make your teeth fall out? No. Then again, maybe we were wrong. You're okay with burglary now? I ask his permission. The reason we don't ask permission is we're afraid the patient is going to hide something, but our patient hasn't been home, lives alone, doesn't have any help, and he has no motive to hide anything. You asked for his key, too? Oh, doesn't have one. <laughs> yep. And now we know why. Think he's crazy? Crucifixion's pretty convincing evidence. Lead paint. The place is too new. He believes in a higher power that can affect his life, like most people on the planet. True. On the other hand, crucified himself. No can tuna. I don't think we have to worry about sushi. No computer, no television, no music. What does he do? He reads. Prayer's been proven to aid recovery. Only if a person knows they're being prayed for. It means there's no objective effect. So faith comes from within. Not exactly a newsflash. Guess worry is good for the waistline. It's not worry, it's starvation. His tooth didn't fall out because of heavy metal poisoning, it fell out because of malnutrition. He does have rotococcus equi. Tal was right. He just didn't know why. Why didn't you tell us you were starving yourself? Well, I wasn't trying to. I'm on a tight budget and it seemed like an okay diet. Well, you seem to be feeling better. <sighs> Not really. My legs are killing me. How bad is the pain? On a scale of one to ten, ten being the worst. Nine and a half. Why are you smiling? Not smiling. Leg pain and pseudobulbar affect. He's feeling one emotion while unknowingly expressing another one. Classic neuro -hikatia. Two days of anticholinergics, he'll be walking out of here. Really? No, I just made that up to see your reaction. Diagnostic test. This is awesome. 33-year-old carpenter presenting with narcissism, delusions of grandeur, hallucinations. He hasn't had hallucinations. I'm not talking about him, I'm talking about him with a capital O-M-G. You want us to do a differential diagnosis on Jesus? Here's voices, uh, thinks he's the son of God, probably schizophrenic. I think you offended him. You're saying the patient's religious extremism could be a symptom? A neuro disorder could explain all his delusions. Get an MRI of his brain. Let's see if we can find God. How are you feeling? Obviously. Where are your friends? Still casting lots for your clothes? All I ask is that they pray for me. Always sacrificing. Very inspirational. The lesions are in your temporal lobes. When those areas get messed with, people have strange experiences. Like hauntings, sailing abductions, past lives. Deals with God? He didn't come to see if I was better. He came to see if your medicine has turned me into an atheist. I'd settle for agnostic. Faith is not a disease. No, of course not. On the other hand, it is communicable, and it kills a lot of people. <coughs> I can't move my arm. You feel that? Your friends are not praying hard enough. Accepting this treatment is an insult to God. I can't expect him to keep our deal. You already broke it. The blood test showed you were loaded with ibuprofen. Taking painkillers breaks my deal. The point is to suffer like your savior did, right? Well, he didn't take myrrh, the Tylenol of ancient Rome. And his nails went through his wrists, not through his palms. Palms are for sissies. 
What about the 39 lashes and the beatings and the crown of thorns? What you go through is closer to a bad manicure than a crucifixion. It's not about showing up my pain. It's about showing him my faith. If he asks me to die for my daughter, I'll do it gladly. Oh, don't make this about your daughter. You're just worried that if we find a cure, that will cost you your faith. And then you'll be like the rest of us. Alone and afraid. You're right. I don't want that. You're smiling. Does that mean that you're comfortable with your choice? Or that you're afraid? Because this may be your only hope. You can prescribe a lot of things, but hope isn't one of them. Sticking by your convictions and damning the consequences. You two have a lot in common. You're both idiots. All convictions equally ridiculous? Just when they're applied indiscriminately to all circumstances. He needs to see his daughter. He needs to see inherit the wind. And tell her he's dying because God doesn't want him to take his medicine. Honesty's not all bad. Get her in here. You don't have to die, not if you take their medicine. Treatment violates God's laws. He doesn't want me to take it. But God doesn't want you to die. He doesn't want anyone to die. He's all about love. I know this is coming from your mother. This is coming from me. I'm the one who almost died. I know what it's like. And you're my daddy. You can't die. I wish I didn't have to. You don't have to, Daddy. Just take the medicine. You always told me to take the medicine, please. One day, you're going to understand. No, I'm not. I'm never going to understand that. If God could do this, I hate God. 